Understanding the need to have a second UV channel for your light map UVs is really important for Notch. In this simple ray trace scene, I have a box and a plane, and I want to light map bake the box. If you look at the UV channels to the right, you can see that my UV channel one is set up. So the texture space takes up one polygon and every single face is sat on top of each other on that polygon. So if I bake the lighting for that asset, bring out a bake node, attach it to the bake lighting and bake it on its first UV. All the lighting is baked on top of each other. So you won't get any shadowing, you won't get any highlights and the lighting will be wrong. What you need to do is take your object into a third party application and set up a unique UV. Now, what do I mean by unique UV? I'll show you an example here. So here is a box. And if you unfold it like this, you're essentially making all the polygons unique. And if this square represented the texture space, then each face of the box has its own place on the texture space. That means when you apply lighting to it, all the shadows will be in the right place. All the highlights will be in the right place and they will have their own texture space. If I bring in my bake lighting to object node, and now I will bake the lighting for this object. And as you can see, once it's baked, the object has all the correct shadows and all the correct highlights. And that is why you need a second UV channel with unique UVs for your bake lighting.